Hey, this is Jenny Jones, Digital Growth Hacks Club, Kate Lesson. Have a new tool I want to put in front of you. Um, it's probably better than a lot of people think, and let me tell you the reason why you may need it. If this is the first time your channel, this channel, please go ahead and like and subscribe. I'm always trying to show you new tools, different um, use cases to try to help you grow your bottom line in your business. So listen, have this tool I've been looking at. It's called uh, Delvi, uh, dot AI. And basically what it is, here's how you, here's how you, well, here's why you think you probably don't need this tool because what you're thinking is saying, ah, I don't need a tool that's going to, um, I don't need a tool that's going to, um, tell me how to develop and put together personas. I know how to do that. And there's no link. I don't need that. Well, actually you do because when you're putting together um, ads and or you're running AdWords or you're running uh, Facebook ads or something like that, they really will do a good job of giving you the demographics, right? Because they can pretty much tell you, hey, this person's between the age of 20 and 30 and um, they're probably you know, African-American or Caucasian or Asian-American those are the demos right but what you're looking for is the psychographics and there hasn't been a tool that's been able to nail down psychographics you need those two you need demographics and you need psychographics and what that basically is it's it's some of the outside or other interests that a person may be interested in or that you may find your perfect customer at because everybody on the web everybody on the internet is not your uh customer Everybody will not buy from you. They just will not buy from you, right? And so combining the two, combining both psychographics and demographics really helps you pick your actual um, client out of a particular lineup. If they're in a police lineup and it's like 50 people, only one of those people are gonna be your client. And that's what psychographics help you do. So now that I've got that out of the way, and that's the reason why you really need a tool like this. Even if you get a one tier, I think a tool like this is powerful. What's going to happen and what you're going to find out is once you find out what it actually does, you're going to probably wonder why you didn't get two, two tiers. OK, so let me kind of tell you what it does. So what I did was I ran a a um, persona search on my particular website. Right. And so here's what I discovered. So let's go back to the overview, right? And here's what I discovered. Once you run it and you link up your uh, Google Analytics, right? What you're able to do is you're able to pull uh, different types of personas that may uh, visit your site. Now, is it 100% dialed in? No, but does it give you an idea of who's visiting your site? Yes. Is it going to give you the actual name like Emma, Emma O'Kelly? No, that's not a real person, but O'Kelly is probably the type of name that you would find in Ireland. So what they're giving you is this is a fake person that kind of makes up the demographics of who's mostly visiting my site. And in this particular case, this gives us close to 100% here. Um, but the most people that are visiting my site are bouncers, right? A uh, number of total users in this segment, mm -hmm. they're only coming and they're, they're visiting once and they're leaving, 99% bounce rate. Then you have people from China coming, right? They're passive browser, right? I don't know where these people are coming from. It does give me an opportunity to kind of see where it's coming from and so on and so forth. So 8% of the people here, let's concentrate on where my target, where my best, and here's how I know this to be true. And here's how I, what you're gonna see here, these are all women, right? And my demographic for all of my sales have been mostly women. Um, men seem to be do-it-yourselfers, and they says, hey, I know what I'm doing. I don't need your help. I, uh, and women are the type, well, they're probably um, single women or, you know, just trying to look to put um, planning together or recently divorced or something like that. Um, that's what I noticed this. So I found this persona to be dead on because it's mostly women that uh, my site um, attracts. So that much I do know is true. 
but so what you have here, you have what I've done here, what the computer has done is it's nailed in my perfect um, persona here because it has a star next to it, even though it makes up 0.62%. And I did run another program where I just want US based and you're gonna see that. I'll probably let you take a look at that. But this particular person has been to my page at least twice, 2.7 sessions. And they've spent about six minutes on my page. That is good. The view rate is uh, they spent, they've went, uh, looked at at least four different screens, right? And they're an engaged user. Now this is a highly engaged user they're 30, they're from Mexico or that particular region. And um, five view rate, they're calling them highly engaged because they went at least five screens deep. But this is my persona because my location is in Elk Grove. This is what I'm looking for. This is who I'm looking for. So it's narrowed it down. So let's drill deeper and see what they come up with. Um, so what they're saying is, hey, this particular person is uh, education coordinator, income is about 51,000, could have dogs, rents houses, right? This is what they kind of basically know from a 40,000 foot view, right? The communication is really social, right? Um, I have an idea of, uh, cause I did do some workshops and I kind of have an idea of where this came from. This is consumer here. Um, there is a way you can drill down and get, um, it's not captioned demographics or interest data of the user. Some of the attributes shown below may not be accurate as they have inferred from an internal data models and not the data from real users on your site. For your accurate representation, please configure and enable demographics and interest data on Google Analytics. So that is not configured, but this gives us a 40,000 foot view of what they may be interested in, uh, politics and so on and so forth. Services, these are the types of services they may be looking for, places likely to visit and so on and so forth. So may use computer, large display, right? And so, weekdays, Thursdays, mornings around 9 a.m., so on and so forth. So this, if I'm trying to put together an ad campaign, if I'm trying to um, nail down and get my persona together, like you can use this for, if you're using another tool, say like a Kriglu, where you can kind of build your model of your persona, what you're looking for, or crawl queue. This, if you add this with your crawl queue and or your Kriglu, and you can do a lot of damage because it's helping you with your persona and helping you figure them out. So let's go deeper here. Let's go to the distribution. And this is the distribution of this person. They're actually organic search, 17%, direct, right? Or referral, right? And a lot of them being referral. I am running uh, my landing page off of swipe pages. So that's the referring domain and they're coming from trafficpro.store. I don't know who that is. I think I may have signed up for some database or something, uh, but I need to double down on that because most of my sources are coming from there. Computer, phone, the demo, right? Uh, these are the demographics between the ages of, uh, the sweet spot is between the ages of 25 and 34. This is spot on, right? I'm going to mostly have females over males. You can see their, their higher percentage in all of them, right? Um, first language is English city, right? Okay. So here's what we got here. So Italy, I don't know. I may have gotten found there. I do have a podcast for some reason. I get a lot of traffic overseas. I don't know what that's about. Um, so weather is, um, and so this just gives you some other different things that you need to be able to, you can see and you can drill down on. So this is a good persona building. Um, and then if you look at journeys, my journey is not built correctly. I gotta go ahead and set up some different things here, but this is one of the pages that they're visiting here, right? And it tells you where they're visiting and the time they're visiting. And if you go through different, you look at the different ones, this is the second, this is the next segment here. Uh, 5.30, 6.30, so on and so forth. This is July 7th. So weekend, so this is, it does, does head, go ahead and um, 
break that down for you. They also have a component here that they have coming soon where it's going to be able to do this on the social side of uh, outside of using your Google Analytics and building a, a model outside of that. They're going to help you build a model with some of the social performance. Uh, social personas of the people that are on your business page. So that's coming soon. I think they're going to be pulling aggregated data. So I think there's going to be a slight cost to that. Um, so look out for that. Um, I thought another thing I thought was very, very interesting was uh, this is the competitor um, data. And I thought this was pretty good because the competitor data, again, it's the same. It's the same female. 30 years of age. Um, this is a person that I found. I kept, when I did my local searches, this person kept coming up. But what I found out is they're not even in my area. They're not even, I think they're based in New York, but they're running ads in my particular area. So they were the biggest competitor. They came up. You can go and look at their persona details for the competitor, right? And this is what you're getting here. Uh, media sources, Forbes, tax returns, hold tax app right away. So you're getting some of the same things, hobbies, contests. So this kind of helps you get an idea of who's looking or who's looking at my competitor stuff and where are they finding their people. I can go in and start digging into their traffic as well. And page analysis on that particular page, right? This is the pages, investor relations. This is their top uh, demand that people want to know when they visit their page, blog articles, careers, so on and so forth. So these are the types of different things that people are running into. Also, what you're gonna find is these are the insights um, from the page. And they're finding crypto, financial services, investment type, and so on and so forth. So these are the web analytics for my particular, um, is this for, no, that's for, oh. So what you can do here is you can go all time. And these are the type of devices, how they're getting on there, right? Low end devices, mid range, high end devices, so on and so forth, Motorola and so on and so forth. So that's what you have there. Again, I'm getting a lot of traffic from Dublin. I don't know why. Um, okay, I'm getting some traffic from Elk Grove. I'm really trying to get more traffic from there, urban, metro, so on and so forth. That's how they're accessing it. This is what they're um, accessing here. Blog articles, uh, these are the different ways that they found me. I run a lot of different uh, inbound traffic and so on and so forth. Uh, the channel referral. Okay. Device type. So, but a lot of people being referred in. Um, I do run a different podcast. I do run different things on my sites. So people are able to find me. So I'm able to, that's what they're doing. And this is when the time of day, right? Weekday, weekends, holiday, occasion. Okay, these are the different areas and so on and so forth. All right, these are the biggest referrals. Traffic for, I gotta need to look that up. You got Yelp. Okay, you got some different uh, referrals here and so on and so forth. So you can make a lot of adjustments here. This is referral, this is the actual site that I'm running my, um, my landing page on, which is swipe pages, but a lot are coming from there, page view 67. Actions three, right? So this the wet. This is weather. It even keeps up with weather. I have no idea. Maybe when it's cloudy outside, people think about retiring. I don't know, but definitely has something to do with it. And this is where, and so on and so forth. So what I wanted to do is just kind of give you an idea of this tool and what they're able to do. Um, this is where where they're connecting uh, Elk Grove. Dublin, Ireland, for some reason. I don't know why that's on there. So uh, these are the sessions here and so on and so forth. So again, this, you have to have demographics and psychographics together. This is a tool that helps you uh, 
um, um, put together psychographic personas. Basically, what would they be interested in? What would this person be interested in? They may have pets. So it allows you to maybe run your ads over pet channels and so on and so forth. So that's what this does. So again, let me show you the filter. They have a filter here. And instead of doing all traffic, I ran and did a filter. And this is my, is my filter. I started running the filter. I did not get that finished fast enough for that. So what I, what I did with the filter is I ran a US only filter. It's still enriching data. I'll receive an email once that is done. And then you can export any of the data out to a JPG. Let me show you how that looks really quick. This is a nice tool. I, I'm going to keep it. Obviously, um, I don't really do a lot of reviews on tools. I do not keep occasionally some will slip through the cracks, but very, very seldom. So what I can do is I can export this to J uh, to PDF. Let's see what that looks like. Um, so we exported that out to PDF. Um, I'm gonna have to ask them about the dev.ai being on the PDFs. I will ask them about that. I don't know that I like that being on there, but there you have it. So this is your one page PDF. You can help put the personas together. They do have Dev AI very prominently displayed. I will ask them about that, see if that's something, but it's not, it's not really a big deal. You just can't come across as you being, you know, you having captured information. You can have, uh, you can share with people, hey, I've used a tool here called Dev AI and I'm able to capture the information. So again, this is the tool. But again, these percentages, 48, 39, that's the percentage of users that are visiting these, there's 40% of the users have a 99% bounce, bounce rate right here. That's not who I want. I really want a person like this who lives in Elk Grove, who visits the page 4.8. Um, they go to 4.8, um, different pages and they've, they've come back at least three times to take a look at it. And they've spent six minutes on the page. So this is a very engaged user. This is my key person. I need to build a persona off of this particular person. Okay. Uh, they may have a dog, so I may run ads over dog channels. I don't know, but it just allows you an opportunity to look at it. Median income of 51 K you want to do it yourself. Keep low cost. That's what I'm looking for. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Hopefully this, 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 um, this deep dive into delve.ai for persona and putting together psychographics. Hopefully this helps you out. There's a compare feature here. I meant to show you that. Ah, there's a compare feature. And this is in beta. This is I'm comparing an engaged user with a bouncer, right? Obviously, it's going to be more engaged here, desktop, so so forth. You can probably, I'll probably uh, compare it against someone else and so on and so forth. So that's how that works. And then you can export it to CSV. I'm almost certain it'll say delva.ai on it, but I will ask them about that and see if they can remove that. All right. So hopefully you're doing well. You can add, um, you can add new businesses here. It depends on what, um, tier you get. You can add a new business here. I think second tier gives you 10, eight or 10. Um, from there, I think you only get one with one tier. Hopefully you're doing well. You guys take care. This has been Jenny Jones. Goodbye for now.